Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing how quickly it does come around, you know, uh, from year to year. It's, uh, as you get older, the years go by a little bit quicker too. So, uh, But we're really looking forward to it. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for these boys to showcase their abilities and to, you know, for the team hopefully to go well, and uh, but also for the players to immerse themselves in a, a unique rugby culture like uh, like New Zealand, where they live and breathe rugby, of course. So uh, that'll be a new experience for these boys. Things like dealing with a jet lag, of course, is going to be a, a new issue for the boys to have to deal with um, and, and, and being able to still come out the traps and play well uh, in the first game. One, two, three, go. After the Six Nations, I think as a, as a whole now we're in a better place as a squad and as a team. So um, playing them in the Six Nations, you know, it was something, it's the Six Nations we take as, you know, the World Cup is where what we want to compete in. It's what, it's what we're there to, it's what we're there to win. So um, playing the Six Nations, it gives us a, a work-ons and all that sort of stuff and playing those teams again, especially when Wales are in our group and things like that. You know, um, we want to be in a better place and we can aim to things that went wrong in those games we can work on and things where we think they're, they've got their weaknesses we can, you know, have a, have a good go at. So, Feeling confident? Feeling confident, yeah, especially um, some injuries throughout the season that they weren't there for the Six Nations. Some lads are, are back now and uh, hopefully they're going to have a big impact over there in, in the World Cup. We look at these guys in the Interprovincials and the warm-up games uh, back in August, September. I take all the DVDs away, I go through them uh, you know, close quarters, look at each player individually, make notes on each player. We monitor the guys through the AAL, we get the amount of game time, we get reports back from club coaches and uh, academy managers. Uh, and of course we have the Six Nations then, we have a couple of warm-up games before the Six Nations and then we, have, uh, and then we had a trial this year before we played Scotland. And uh, some of the guys who missed out on the Six Nations were asked to come and trial. Uh, and some had really kicked on because they'd had AIL exposure. Uh, don't forget some of these guys were still in school last year, so the first 12 months is quite a bit of transition and learning for them. Some kick on immediately, some take a little bit longer. My job, I guess, is to concentrate on the rugby side and the mindset, and uh, you know, all we've talked about really is our game plan so far, to, to go out and play that first game against France. We know we've got limited time to really focus on the things that we want to take into the French game. So uh, there were lots of things that we worked on in that game that were hopefully going to bring us fruit against uh, France.